Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks, and happy Saturday. Um, what I'm working on today, really, I'm just finishing up a bunch of stuff, but I wanted to uh, kind of tell you what my plans are, and hopefully I'm going to get started on this as soon as I get done with this video. Uh, I'm, I'm just finishing up a bunch of the little princess here, pink and silver, uh, a few added touches. They're almost ready to go here. And this little girl, I'll tell you first, is ready to go. This is the little African-American um, little girl from Divine Digital Diva. Uh, however, on this one that was different is a centerpiece was made of her. And underneath her skirt is just printed uh, colors. It kind of looks like they were ribbons to give the effect of ribbons. And I put the tool on them in the different colors. And then I put the beads or the, these gems at her waist uh, all in different shapes uh, the reason I ended up going with the different shapes is because at Michael's I had gotten recollect nope paper studio so it would have been Hobby Lobby a jar of these these gems they're all different sizes and different shapes but every single yellow is a round circle this side every single blue is a square this side pink etc so I just decided to go with all of them random because they didn't have to be the same. And then there's a little pearl. It's a, or a iridescent pearl on her ear. And I'm going to have to tell this thing. My printer. I've been having so many issues with my printers, guys. I was getting ready to buy uh, my daughters each of uh, the Ecotank printers. Because I love the fact that they take no ink. However, I've had to replace it twice since October. Two replacements, and I'm not happy about that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to um, exchange them or not. Uh, just a lot of weird issues. Okay, anyway. On the top, her little suit that she has on here, like her little uh, tutu, uh, is gold glittered, which Jenna did this. And her image... Is not the puffball hair. You can't see it close on camera, I guarantee. Uh, but this was actually done in fondant on the cake that was sent to me. And my thing did not print out right. Oh, I have a feeling this isn't going to work. What I'm trying to do is print out some party books. And it is printing out a bunch of garbage. I have been having more troubles with this printer. I, I just can't even begin to tell you. Anyway, um, this this was fondant. And so the hair actually where the picture of this was taken from the customer was uh, the piece that was on her cake and whoever put it on the cake to find it, frosting hair. And so it does look really neat in person, but you can't tell so much of film. She's got her little Mac matching high top, her Converse tennies on with the little diamond glittering and then her unicorn here with the little ears and that's also been glittered. There's glossy accents in her eyes and I think she's absolutely adorable. Again, underneath the way the prints out is looks like a could be ribbons. Originally I was going to hang ribbons but opted out and went with the the um, tulle skirt. So I'm going to put this one back in a stand and get her out of the way and try and figure out what the heck is going on with my printer now. I'm probably not going to be able to do what I need to do. Um, on this one, there's a couple of the little princess and she's got the puffball hair uh, pigtails. And this one has the curly hair pigtails. I like this one so much better for cutting out. This one, it's really hard to crop really good because it's really fine hair out here and this part of the image will start to bleed over and cut wrong when you crop in on these. There is a way to do it that I found that works perfect. However, my daughter Amy did this one and I hadn't showed her yet. So what I did is after I put her together, um, I waited so that they matched up perfect, that it was, it was already assembled, I cut away some of the white. I've seen them a lot where this white sticks out 
oh, probably an inch and a half um, because there's so many little fuzzies on the hair. I don't like it at all. I personally don't like it. Um, so I cut it off. And I was talking to my daughter about it to let her know that we need to get together for me to show her how to do that. And she said she'd already figured it out, but she figured it out after she already did this. So, like I said, I just cut them out afterwards. And she put the beads on, and uh, the beads started to fall off, which happens with Jenna a lot, too. So I talked to Amy yesterday to let her know, and I'm telling everybody here that's watching and uses these kinds of beads, if you do not glue them on really well, they, they will fall off. And I think a lot of people are afraid of the glue showing. Um, if a dab shows through here and there, uh, you can't lose sleep over it because I would ra much rather see a dab of clear glue that nobody's going to see to begin with because you're going to have to be up and close and personal in order to see that little piece of glue. But if all the bead falls off and it's hanging down, you're going to be able to see that no matter where you're sitting. If you can see her, you're going to see her beads fell off. So, again, that's just my opinion. This one she did, and she put the little ruffle. Um, these are a one-foot piece, and she's got the little bows up here in her hair, and the little ruffle butt that I absolutely love. And she's got a silver bow in here in the background. However, I don't have silver bows, so I'm going to do pink bows to match the ones in her hair. Again, what I'm doing here is just finishing these up. This isn't a big issue that, I, or, or that I'm showing here, anything different. But I did want to talk to you about a couple things. Um, number one, for those of you that have been following me for a long time and have made comments about my photo bombs, my dogs in the background, um, everybody knew last year I'd lost the wand that, that um, was most often, most frequently, in the back of my pictures, or in my, the back when I was filming. Uh, not last week. Yes, last week. I think it's been a week already. I'm losing track of time. Week before last it was. Um, she was having a lot of issues, the one that everybody would see crawl back there, having a lot of health issues. And we were trying different beds, different things to try and make her comfortable, which I think she, I don't think she was that uncomfortable until recently. She started whimpering. She'd get a leg cramp or something and she'd cry and, and I used to say that it was just probably like a Charlie horse, but it was getting to the point where she was falling down a lot, down out of the stairs and down the stairs and um, so finally had to make the decision that it was time for, for the better of all. And guys, Amy, God bless you. I love you to death, but you know what? See how this is on this face, guys? I don't like that. So I will make a note to myself to let my daughter know that um, you really got to be careful where you're going to place your pegs. And in this particular case, I'm going to let you guys watch and see what and how I correct it. What I do is go in with a spatula in the area that I want, and even though it's hot glued shut, I check to find a spot that I can put a new peg in. Again, I don't like the peg on her foot and having her topple over like this. So, I'm going to change directions here. Anyway, was I was in the middle of the street with my dog, busy. Um, we had to have her euthanized, and I am now a no-pet owner. Um, it was pretty hard. I shouldn't say pretty hard. It was. She took it pretty well. One of the things that I kept procrastinating is it seemed that Fizzy was doing okay, and every time I'd get ready, to get to the point where I said, "Okay, enough is enough," because she, you know, there'd be real bad days, and I'd make the decision that I just I can't. I wasn't able to judge. How, how about she was suffering because my mother is in pain a lot too and I, you know I mean that's part of aging but she woke up at five o'clock in the morning I believe it was the day that I did it or the next day just screeching 
in, in agony. Of, I don't know what was happening. I picked her up and tried to massage her hip um, and see if I could get her calmed down. But she, she wasn't doing good. So I finally said enough is enough. And I thought my mother was going to really have a hard time with it because she loved the dog. But my mother agreed too at the time. It was time. And we were all feeling bad that we were selfishly trying to hang on. The doctor wasn't sure, but thought possibly cancer. Um, didn't have any further testing done because she, she was 17 years old. And what the vet had say, said was that was already very long for, a, for her breed. She's a fox terrier. So I am now without any pets. And I had already started, I was already thinking about getting another dog after I'd lost Bianca and had all these. Yep, guys, I got that changed out and I like it better here than on here. So anyway, I was trying to figure out whether or not to get another pet and my husband keeps saying, you know, let's go for a while and see what it's like without. And so that's what we're doing. And every single day though, I come up with a little note to self why I want to really put off. And I'm coming up with things that you don't realize that um, goes into taking care of our pets. We just do it. But I, I haven't left the closet door closed all the way in probably 15 years because we had a doggy bed or whatever in every closet because wherever you were, Fizzy needed to be, but she wanted to be in the closet. And so the closet doors were always left open, um, or one door left open. And if you accidentally closed it where she couldn't get out, she would start howling because she was stuck inside the closet. And now I can't get used to having closet doors shut. Neither can my husband because he keeps trying to, um, he keeps leaving them open too. And we had a gate going to our lower level where that we took, we take the grandkids, had all their toys and stuff because they didn't want dog hair. We took the gate down. Now every time I come up from the basement, go around that corner, my arm's going out to open the gate. And the gate's not there. And we had a doggy door in our patio door that was always, you couldn't get through it carrying, carrying anything because it only gave you like a foot clearance to get through. And so a lot of the stuff that if you were holding it, you had to go around and go through the garage. Well, we don't have that anymore. Yesterday we had a pool party and my granddaughter, my, my daughter-in-law said, I couldn't understand what was so weird about this door because it was so wide. It's because there's not a doggy door in it. So I am, I am talking myself out of getting another dog. Let's see how long I last, guys. I'm giving me till the fall before I finally break down and say, no, I can't go through the winter with, I have, I love, I love dogs. But we'll see how far I make it, or how long I make it. Okay, these, oh, I just absolutely love the tool skirts, guys. I'm just so in love with them. They are so cute. And they're so full. And do I have to, I have to do this? I have to call and tell my daughter not to do that again. I've got to remember. I'm gonna, I got sidetracked here because I didn't realize there was another one of this little girl here. And I need to change her peg on. Um, I hope this one goes as smoothly as the other one did. But this is all there is to this order. And then it's done. Ooh. Okay. Now, let me see if I have another peg here, which I probably don't. This one will work. Let me see if I can get in here, inside her belly, because that's where I need to be. Got it. Oh, what I was going to tell you, what I'm going to do, I have to see what everybody thinks of this, which I probably have already started doing by the time this one even uploads. So 
I'm going to do some screen recordings and everybody wants to know when I'm going to do the CDs, the flash drives and all that and I have decided, I made a decision here guys, it is worth more to me to have an act of kindness of any sort that brings some sort of joy or hobby, anything to somebody's, to, to anybody, to their life because I know how stressful it can be and I, I get real bent out of shape when I see so much focus on money. So I've decided I'm not selling USB or CDs or anything with instructional, but what I'm going to do is go onto my screen recorder and just start doing some recordings that are going to be just of me talking and explaining the software. I will be working off of the business uh, silhouette because that's the one I have. However, uh, it will have, from the free edition to the business, it will have everything that in any one of those would have on them. But it will not have, it'll have more than any of the others below the business. So I might be showing how you can use two machines. Well, you can't use two machines on a, on a different the lower software. So I am going to start doing that and I'm going to do one today. I'm going to see how that flies. Again, I'm not selling them. I am just, I have not, I do not make any money with what I do here with these videos. These are just something I enjoy doing and the feedback that I get from 99.999% of the people is good. So take that to those of you that are ornery Nine, that many people have something nice to say and positive and kind. So, for that reason, the, those of you that are nice and kind and everything will benefit that from that. And those of you that are just ornery, be that way. Because I really don't care. You know what? We all got our set of things to be ornery about and I don't need to share it with anybody. If I'm ornery my business. My mom being ornery, <laughs> my problem. And that. So anyway, that's the way it's going to fly, guys. And uh, again, those that don't like it, you know what they say about opinions. So that's what. Okay. Let me see what we got here. This one I might have. That's going to be fine, though. It's a little bit closer to the leg here. However, it was the best I could do, given the fact that this is glued shut with hot glue. I still like it better there than on the back leg. Okay, now we're going to get back into these. And let me see. She's got this on. She's got this on. She's covered. She's covered. She's covered. She's covered. She's covered. She's covered. She is missing... I'm going to put some, I have here some recollections, silver, um, it's almost like washi tape. And this is silver up here on the top of her tutu. So I'm going to put some of that on there to add one last touch to the glitter that's already there. Tomorrow is my granddaughter's. Charlie's, Isabel's, and Wyatt, my grandson's um, dance recital. Um, the three of them are in hip hop, and then my two granddaughters are in ballet. So tomorrow we're going to spend the day in the ballet recital, and then in the afternoon we're going to my daughter's for my grandson, Blake's birthday party. He turned two today. So, shout out to Blake. He's two today. And just absolutely an angel. He's been staying with his um, grandparents that live about an hour and a half from here. Not, I shouldn't say he's been staying. He stayed a couple times this past month or so. Uh, they, they are both retired and asked after Amy had asked them the first time to watch them overnight because they were going somewhere, they had something going on, I can't remember what it was, 
after they had them the first night, they called back two weeks later and wanted them again. They're just absolutely enjoying him so much. And they've got three, five, eight grandkids, including on my side. And this was the first sleepover that they've ever had with one of the grandkids slept over and they loved it. And the and little Blake, it was just Blake by himself. And um, I said, I don't know how they sent him back home after spending a weekend with him. I would have not sent him back. He was just the most precious little, oh, unbelievable. Oh, this is so cute. I just added that tape down here on this little tutu. These pieces are just so... Guys, it's not tooting my horn because the horn I'm tooting is for Divine Digital Diva who does these images that I get them from. She's like, every time I go into her shop, I end up putting a whole bunch of stuff in my basket just praying somebody's going to need it because I, I can't get everything she has. She's got, I don't know how many thousand uh, files. And every time I think I'm getting close to having a ton of them, she adds a ton more on but I absolutely, absolutely love her work. And it's so easy to decorate because it's so perfect to begin with. It's just a cakewalk for me. Okay. Um, got our new slide put in on the pool. Kids, grandkids are absolutely loving it. We're going to be having our first outdoor movie theater night coming up Memorial Day weekend. And what we're going to try and do is set the big screen up by the pool and all lay in blow up inflatable boats. They came up with my niece, I think it sent it to me last year or something. I said, oh my God, would that be fun? But now I think, oh, that would really be fun to lay and watch a movie outside in the pool. So, wish me luck on that one, guys. My um, grandson said, how the heck are you going to fit a boat in here? Well, I didn't mean a boat, a fishing boat. I meant a inflatable boat. So, we're going to give that a shot. I think that would be really fun. We're trying to come up with some different things to do. Uh, got the zip line up, which I told everybody. I don't know if I did tell everybody. I don't think I filmed since this. I don't think so. Got the zip, zip line up at um, Amy's house instead of at my house because we didn't have room for it. We didn't have anywhere to hang it because we don't have any trees in the back. I better check and make sure that this isn't running out of time because of my babbling. I'm going to check that and then decide what I'm going to do. Okay, I don't know if it runs out of time or not. I'm going to try printing this again. I don't know if it's just too much stuff on here to print because it did not print. I'm going to try it again. Okay. Um, anyway, we got the zip line put up for the Mother's Day last, was it Mother's Day last week? Or, I think it was Mother's Day, yeah. And me, I have to try everything because I, I, a kid at heart. Um, I'm younger than all my grandkids actually because I make, I make the decisions that they wouldn't even make. A baby would know enough not to. A toddler would be too afraid to. And it goes on and on. But, oh me, I think I need to do it. So I jumped on the zip, zip line <laughs> and thought, oh, this is so cool. Halfway down, it snapped. And I fell to the ground on my butt in the mud. I fell right into the mud mud hole. Um, and I, of course everybody about fell on the ground laughing. I didn't get hurt. I mean it wasn't like I was that high off the ground. I didn't I didn't think I got hurt. The next day I had bruises that I didn't know you could bruise. But, um, but speaking of, on my butt I went and they were all saying, well, we told you there was a maximum weight on it, and going on and on. And I said, I'm telling you, I do not weigh what that maximum weight is. Well, my son-in-law, God bless him, uh, made everybody aware and made it perfectly clear that it didn't have anything to do with that. It was the fact that he didn't use the right 
hook to anchor it because he didn't was didn't feel like running to one of the hardware stores to get the right hook. So he just put whatever on there and it broke. But we did decide that the zip line we got them was not long enough. I think it was 40 feet, but perfect for the little ones, the toddlers and stuff. As a matter of fact, Amy ended up hooking up uh, the baby swing from the swing set and putting Blake in it. And Blake was screaming, my turn, my turn, before he even got to the bottom of the, the, the zip line. He didn't want anybody else on there. He just kept yelling, my turn, my turn. But for the boy's birthday, um, actually for all the kids' birthday, but I'll go at her house, we got them the big zip line. And the party's tomorrow. I don't know how long or when they'll get it put in. They have a, oh, there's my daughter calling now. So guys, I'll finish this up and take some pictures, and then I'll start the instructionals. Thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.